Welcome back to the RV Floor Repair uh, playlist. Next thing we're going to start doing is we're going to start rebuilding this substructure. So we got this board right here. It's actually a two and a half inch wide board. So not a normal two by four. It's actually smaller. So we're going to get some two by fours and rip them down to two and a half inches wide. Then we're going to plate it on this side and this side. And then we're going to put one along this wall edge for good measure. So what I did is I measured, so we obviously have a two and a half inch height. We got 46 inches long all the way in. That'll get us an inch underneath that edge to screw in and tie into. And we're gonna cut three of these boards to length. And then down here on the end, we'll measure in between the gap where the boards are to put it on the face here and then probably put a short one down here as well, just for good measure. They may not need it, but since we're there and doing it, just an extra added support. Once we do that, we will get to making a cardboard template for the flooring. So that way when we do it with cardboard, it's kind of a one and done. We can transfer that right onto a piece of plywood and then it should fall right into place. So I tie it, pulled everything back, the insulation back so we can start putting that in there. And we're just gonna put everything back together with regular wood screws. Digging through the garage. I found these uh, one buys of solid oak that I can actually use. They are actually pre-cut to two and a half inches wide from the store. And they were four feet long. I had left over from another project that I didn't need. So if you're looking for the store to buy pre-bought or pre-cut, two and a half inch by four foot long, that's just fine underneath here. It's tucked under the edge nice and deep so I can screw it from the top without any problems. What we're going to also do, since that wood is so kind of rotted, we're going to lay a bunch of silicone down on each side of this inside board. So when we sandwich it together, it will help glue it onto the board there. So if those screws don't hold very well, the glue will help hold to that. But realistically, two one buys is the same width as this two by two and a half that they used. And be an oak wood versus the pine or spruce or poplar that they use. Oak is a stronger board, so we should have a stronger joint than what came from the factory. And that's the way we're gonna do it. Should be pretty quick and easy. As you can see, we've got the boards in there. All the way across, we've got it capped on the ends. We've got it across there. It's screwed in with exterior screws that are coated. So if there's ever moisture that gets in here, they won't rust away. So it's supported very well. We use some uh, silicone to seal on each side of the boards. So that way they will be glued in against the wood just in case those screws don't stay very good. Since it is rotted wood, the glue will help hold everything in place. Along with on the cords and the seams to make sure it doesn't squeak and rattle and just uh, makes a tighter bond. So next step of the process is going to be making a cardboard template for the hole so we can cut it out with wood but we're framed in so that's the next big step and here we have a rough cardboard template so this template we can just transfer right over to our plywood board instead of test fitting a bunch all we simply do is just take the cardboard Try to rough sketch dimensions, cut it out with scissors as much as we could until we can fit it in there. Nice and easy, all the way around. That makes it a lot easier than trying to cut and fit plywood back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When you do it with cardboard, you make a mess, you can uh, just start over, refill it back in with some tape, things like that. So cardboard templates really help. And one thing you should always do is label it which side's up. Sometimes it matters, sometimes the plywood you're using matters, so we'll make sure we relabel this as up so we know that this is the upside when we transfer it over. I laid out my template on this 5 8 inch sheet of plywood I had laying around, cutting it out. Skill saw is working out pretty nice to get everything cut straight and out of the way. 